My understanding is Vladimir Putin don't take too kindly to people sitting around talking about invading this country. And so uh, he sent some planes to test our defenses out in Alaska. And uh, what Vladimir Putin don't understand is that what are you going to do? You going to go bomb the shit out of Alaska? Go bomb the forest for a little bit? How many nukes are you going to go through like that? You ain't ever going to make it to the mainland. You're going to barely make it to Alaska. Think my Air Force ain't sitting there waiting for your ass? You don't, you don't think that I like watching your planes fly around? All right, so long time ago, I go to the Chinos, I go to the Ruskies, I tell them, hey, all right, Ruskies, this is all I'm asking of you. Not too much. Give me one of those uh, armored personnel car carriers, what are they, unmanned, like drone tank things you build? Why? I think it looked, I think it looked real nice. Back then, I was into Lizzie Grant. Thought maybe I could have, I, I could get in with her and we could maybe get an even bigger place out in California. Take one of those, take one of those tanks, store it there. And I also went to the Chinos and I said, all right, here's the deal. Y'all want to be good with me. You want to have a good relationship with me, right? Well, then you're going to have to go and give me one of those unmanned submarines you've been building. And, uh, I also want you to give me uh, your air for aircraft aircraft carrier you built the entire damn thing because okay they built they built one aircraft carrier on their own they bought one and fixed it from Russia um, building aircraft carriers are actually it's like, it's almost like building a damn city it's it's hard to build an aircraft carrier so China country with like 1.5 billion people credible engineers in this country has had that much trouble building an aircraft carrier they have one I said. You can give it to me. And what I was going to do is I was going to get Ai Weiwei. I was going to get a bunch of painters. We were going to all sit around smoking some, some, some uh, cigarettes that don't have tobacco children. No nicotine. Okay. Basically, what we were, no, we were going to do is we are going to sit around painting that bitch. And I was going to have a, a pool in my house. And I was going to have a glass around the, the pool built around this glass that had my submarine inside that was painted like with really by all these incredible artists like I weigh way in myself since I'm so awesome at art anyways uh okay so the Ruskies the thing is I told them you need to get rid of Vladimir Putin I said give me this little bitch ass tank you got it ain't nothing you know I didn't I didn't need that tank I thought it looked cool I was gonna store it and I was gonna show it to Lizzie and I was gonna go banger in it. That's it. That's really what the, that, that, that was the whole point of it, was to go have sex in a freaking tank that probably doesn't have seats. All right, so Lizzie Green, uh, am I going back to her to tell you the truth? Um, I haven't actually thought about it. Uh, it hasn't crossed my mind because I'm pretty sure that uh, after all those years, and even though I think she's special, I think I think it's I think that's just not my future. All right, so the Ruskies. Uh, when I'm looking at that map, and I'm thinking, all right, they would never think that I would invade with that many people. I'll take all their all their major cities. We'll just kill them. All the people that are not dead will be stuck, and they can sit around shooting off nukes with no purpose. That's fine. But um, if they actually fight, they're going to lose. Or they can abandon their posts and run and flee to either Europe or the United States. Um, the thing is, I, I think it might be difficult to convince people to invade Russia. Uh, at the same time, I'm the type of man that has been planning some revenge against Vladimir Putin for a long time. And Vladimir Putin thought that he was untouchable, kind of like Donald Trump, kind of like Bill Barr. A lot of people think they're untouchable until they find out no one's untouchable, especially when you live in a democracy.